All right, guys, today we're going to do a little project while we're out here in the woods to aid in our hunting and our shooting. What we're going to do today is we're going to create a powder measure from a natural resource. Now, there's a couple different ways we can do this and a couple different options. First, you can, of course, you can gather bamboo or cane, something like that that's hollow inside, and dry it out and then take your powder measure and cut it to length so you can fit um, X amount of powder in that. You can also do that with bone like I gather here. Now this bone doesn't have too big of a cavity but what you would do is you would take your powder decide how much you need for your exact amount of grains and adjust your bone accordingly. So you would actually cut it down or grind it down to get your desired depth and you could go that route. Another route you could use that we're going to do today is to use a piece of antler. And I'm actually gonna run off to the side here in a second and grab a piece that I've ever, uh, I have already worked. This tine here is what we're gonna work on today. And we'll talk about that in one second. I'm gonna grab my other piece just to show you what it looks like. And then we'll get started. All right guys, so on my shooting bag for my flintlock, I already made a antler powder measure. And basically what I'm going to do the same process now, except now I'm going to use the tine before I use the more of the base of the antler. And I'll show you that up close. Okay, now this holds 55 grains of powder, this powder measure. And I'm going to show you in a second here how we get there. So same process. We're just going to start from scratch here. Okay, so of course we need a way to measure our powder to begin with. So you probably think, well, if you already have a powder measure, why do we need to make one out of natural resources? And there's a couple reasons for that you want to keep in the back of your mind. Number one, if you're in a long-term scenario, this is a very valuable tool because this measure itself goes from 10 grains, well, zero grains of powder, all the way up to 155 grains of powder. So losing this, you're losing a lot by losing this small instrument. So this is something that you'd want to keep at your base camp or keep in a safe place and use another powder measure like we're going to make today because if you lose the one you made, you can make another one. If you lose this, you have no way of measuring or figuring out how much powder and that can become dangerous quite quickly when dealing with firearms. So just keep that in mind. That's why you would always want to in a long term or scenario or even day-to-day uh, -day scenario you're saving you buy this once you keep it keep it in a safe place and you don't have to worry about it okay so today for my flintlock we're gonna set it at 55 grains it seems to shoot the absolute best at that so I'm gonna set this and put it off to the side so what else we're gonna need for this project is our natural resource of choice in this case like I said we're gonna use antler a nail and then I have some sand in a small container that I've gotten out of the creek in the past and I took all the heavy rock out of it, dried it, and I keep this around camp. So we're going to need that to measure because I want to stress, do not use black powder if you're, doing, if you're going to use this method. Again, do not use black powder, gunpowder, or any type of explosive to, do, to measure when we do this. So one more time, do not use gunpowder, any gunpowder equivalents, black powder, or anything else that can ignite when you're doing this method because we're gonna have possibly some hot embers in this, okay? So now, the reason I chose a nail, because if we're around base camp, that might be something that's around. You can always find that if you find any kind of old scrap. Also, for trapping, I usually carry some nails anyway, so it just works out easily that way. So what you're going to do is I cut a small stick, okay? I cut a small stick, a green sapling, and we're actually going to take our, our nail and put it into that sapling. So we're actually going to use this end. And it doesn't matter as long as you get it seated in there. That's all that really matters. So we have it set just like this. What we're going to do, if you go back at some of my videos, in my all video, we're actually going to burn out the inside of our antler to the depth we need and the size we need 
to fit 55 grains of powder. So it's going to take some time, and that's why I said you don't want to use a gunpowder, gunpowder equivalent, or black powder, because if this is hot and it ignites the powder, it's going to blow up in your hand. Okay, you're going to get a flash right in your face. So we don't want that to happen. All right, so I'm going to stick this in the fire and heat this nail up, and I'm going to get back to you. This takes some time, so it's not a fast project. You have to sit and work with it. Of course, the bigger your fire, the better this is going to work. But you can get this done with small fire. It just takes a lot more time. All right, so we're going to get started, and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, so I just pulled the nail out of, the fi out of fire, and as you can see, it's going to start burning in. You want to open up that hole by burning into our horn. I'm sorry, our antler. So if you need, use something hard to work it into. Okay, and as you can see, we're starting, I already got our hole. So we want to work that a little bit, and you can judge by using a measure like this. You can sort of judge how much we need. So there's no sense of filling this up yet and starting to see where we're at. I got to work this out for a little bit. So I'm going to do that, and once I start getting close, we'll get back to you and start showing you how we're going to finish this off. Okay guys, so as you can see, that nail is really getting loose in there. So I'm going to actually pop that out, get rid of that stick, and cut a new one. I'll let that nail cool down a little bit, and we'll get started again. Now what I actually started doing while I'm working on this, as you can see, it's opening up pretty well. If you have a couple nails, of course, get a couple of them in the fire, the process will go a little bit quicker. If you don't want to do that, then just take your time and keep working it. You might have to get some new sticks while these nails cool and them sticks burn because they are going to be in the fire, you need to get that metal good and hot. But um, if you do with a couple nails, it goes a little bit quicker. So we'll keep at it and get back to you in a second. Okay, so we're still burning out our piece of antler. I had to take a break for a little bit. As you can tell, it's a little bit darker. A storm came through for a little bit, so I need to run out and grab some wood and stuff. But some of these projects like this, I mean, you could stretch this out just when you're around camp. If you don't get it done right away, you don't have to do it all in one shot. So don't feel like you're pressured. You have to do this all at one time. But what I've been doing now is, since I got back at it, back and forth, I've been filling this up and putting it into my measure. So we're almost at 55 grains of powder and like I said I want to use this for my flint lock and that's the best load that I've found so far. So I've had the nail in again to finish burning this out. I really don't need to burn too much more of this out to get it to where I want it. It was really 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 close. back in and give it a shot. So hopefully right at 55 grains of powder. Now I just want to tell everybody if grains of powder is a, a weight measurement. So you can get pretty close. This is volume. So it is a little bit different but you're going to be really really close. If you have 55 grains of powder in here or let's say this one it's going to be really close when you measure it out with 3F powder, so it's not too big of a deal. It's not going to be exact if you're looking for precision, per se, in the sense that you're looking for real, real type groups hunting. You'll have no problem whatsoever with this. So I'm getting this reset to 55 grains of powder, and I have my antler filled to the top, so let's see how close we are. All right, so we're almost there. 
pretty close, just a little bit. Probably this last burn should do it in. So we'll get that back out. Hopefully it's heated up. Give it one more shot. So I'm gonna keep working with this. We'll be back with you in one second. As soon as I get this finished off, I'll show you the finished product. Okay guys, so we're gonna do our final measure. This one we should be at 55 grains of powder. So we got this topped off with sand. That's it, as you can see, we're right at the top. A little bit will dump out. So we're right at the top there. Right at the top there. So to finish this off, as far as for putting it on my shooting bag or my hunting bag or even hang it off my haversack, what I would want to do is I can either carve this back section down a little bit and tie some type of string, piece of leather, something on here, or I can keep my nail up and drive a hole through and then put my piece of leather in my string and just let it hang like that. So I'm going to get you a close-up of this all finished up. Thanks for tuning in to this episode. We'll keep them coming. Thanks, guys.